breaks in the east and a mighty army rises. Not an army marching to the deep and desolating roar of shells, but a mighty army of builders who go forth accompanied by the whistles from America's greatest factories. While their giant smokestacks right across the skies promise of a new prosperity. In a land where that prosperity brings a fuller life to every man who labors and who serves. And as each builder marches forth to shape his destiny, tens of thousands more go with him side by side. And so each one is multiplied. And thus America has grown from the combined services of those who plan, create, and build, each day serving better, earning more, and building greater values than can be found in any other nation of the world. call of industry sounds good morning to America's manpower. As dawn comes out of the east and spreads down the quiet streets, the clans gather in a score of cities. In thousands of homes, vigorous workmen rise to meet a new day and a new opportunity. The morning sun stirs the nation's workmen, prompting them to their posts of daily service. Follow the eastern sun as it rises on the homes of men along the great Atlantic seaboard. The morning light over the plains has waked the thousands who are off to enliven the factories of the vast Midwestern states. And along the sunny shores of the Pacific, men are on their way to quicken the beat of industry. In 12 great cities located in every region of the country, the clans are gathering for the work of a new day. As the sun stretches fingers of light across the pavements, the early morning sparkles with the greeting of men to men. On their way to factories in Flint and Atlanta, from Tarrytown to Oakland, the neighborly workmen hail each other with the salute of fellowship. Along the roads to the factories, Tens of thousands begin to mass. They swell the rising tide. Into the silent buildings flows the life stream. The great producing units of the nation's mightiest manufacturing enterprise await. The giant assembly plants begin to stir.
In every quarter of the country, in a dozen great cities, the bugle call of industry has summoned the clan. Legions of craftsmen have joined to supply transportation for a nation of individuals. Along the main current of the assembly lines, light falls across men spreading to their stations. The stillness of the factories breaks. The tramp of many feet makes way for the rhythmic hum of smooth spinning machinery. Under the guidance of skilled workmen, comfort and speed and safety are built into motor cars for all America. All that fine automobiles are made of, all that the builders need, is ready for assembly. America is at work. automobile factories and the grounds encircling them are never empty. Like mighty reservoirs, they feed the streams of cars along the highways. A million families call for motor cars. The work of men who make them is always in demand. America has a ready purse and gives eager acceptance to what the men of motors have built and built well. Fine materials, soundly assembled. 
And while a restless and never satisfied horizon calls, the new automobiles stream from the factories, spreading pleasure and speeding business all across the country. The destination? Everywhere, USA. And now a stream of paychecks flows to all the men who are building a million cars for the boulevards and highways of America. Tens of thousands of men on one single payroll have money for themselves and for their families to spend. Money to spend for wholesome foods, for good clothes, money for comforts and conveniences. Fresh buying power floods into all the stores of every community. New trade and new commerce have been created by the overflow of purses. And beyond the marketplaces, new wealth flourishes and new prosperity grows. Prosperity greater than history has ever known.
The pleasure of buying, the spreading of money, and the enjoyment of all the things that paychecks can buy are making happy all the thousands of families. And when the sun drops low at close of day, and the evening shadows lengthen all across the continent, the men return from work with the wind fresh in their faces. Each feels that his home is the best of places, and each in his heart is right. Then comes time for play, and friends, and recreation. And so across America, the thousands have worked today, and done their tasks well. And as the lights blink out, a day of work, a day of fulfillment, of happiness and of peace merges into the assurance of a fuller life in the great American way. <laughs> 